Hey guys, thank you for stopping by my channel today. I recently posted a video called the Lipstick Purse Purge where I basically talked about how I consistently carried around about 12 different lip products at any given time. It was a video that was created by Emily Noel 83 who is fabulous. Please go check out her channel if you don't already know who she is. And so in that video, I mentioned that I stored said 12 lipsticks and lip products in what I called my apocalypse bag because if the end of the world were to come, you want to be my friend. Well, actually, I hope you'd want to be my friend anyway, but I will help you get through the end of the world because I carry around a lot of stuff with me. And I asked you guys if you wanted to know what was in my apocalypse bag. And of course you said yes because I want to know what's in someone else's apocalypse bag as well. I love watching those sorts of videos. So this will basically be pretty much a what's in my bag, PS apocalypse version, because basically I just keep all of my stuff in here and then I just kind of transfer between handbags whenever I change them, which is frequent, PS. The more frequently you see me change my handbags, the more stress that I am experiencing in my life. It's like my poker tell. You know, if I keep changing my handbags every day, then there is some major stuff going on in my life with me. So, but it makes it really easy when I keep everything in here and can just kind of drop it from handbag to handbag. I say it's like a what's in my bag because really the only other things that are in my bag are things like my wallet, my cell phone, my sunglasses, my keys, and my back scratcher. Yes, I carry an actual back scratcher with me because I have the itchiest back on the planet and it is very unbecoming to find a corner of the wall and itch your back on that. So I'm a little bit more discreet with my back scratcher, which now that I'm looking at him will actually fit in my apocalypse bag. And I'm wondering why it is not something I keep in there regularly. See, filming this video has helped me out. So just a couple disclaimers, I am crazy and you will soon witness that when I tell you and share with you the things that I actually carry in my apocalypse bag. The other thing is I love tiny things and tiny containers and I am constantly depotting things and I'm able to do that with the help of these fabulous little funnels. You can't really see them because they're clear, but they are these tiny little mini funnels that I got at the container store so that you can transfer things from larger beauty bottles into tiny little beauty bottles. Yes, I'm getting very excited by that. <laughs> I also apparently feel that this back scratcher is like my security blanket right now because I cannot put it down. <laughs> the other thing, the other disclaimer is that the P-Touch machine or the label maker is like my BFF because every time I transfer something into a tiny blank canvas anonymous little tiny bottle, I am compelled to label it quite specifically with my P-Touch machine. So enough intro. On to the full disclosure, if you want to find out what I carry with me in my bag on a regular basis and that I call my apocalypse bag, then just keep watching. So in no particular order, the first thing I'm going to pull out is this little tiny bag from Bloomingdale's. You know how they've got those brown paper shopping bags, the little brown bag. Well, this one is actually plastic and it's just tiny and perfect to hold onto my headphones. Um, which is pretty self-explanatory and doesn't really require a lot of explanation. I put my headphones in a tiny little container. Big surprise. Similar to a deck of cards, as one might be holding if one were playing poker or go fish, I have a series of little packets. I have by LA Fresh the Travel Light Antiperspirant Wipe. And so, I mean, I know they have the trial size or travel size deodorants and stuff, but Honestly, I carry a lot of stuff that um, sometimes I don't actually have room for something that even though it's this kind of tiny. So I found these nifty little wipes and uh, they're like for emergency only because I'm really particular about deodorant because I smell. And so I don't typically forget, but sometimes you need a little freshen. I also have by Summer's Eve a little wipe in a packet for obvious reasons. I don't know. You just to want to be clean, which means they also work for other places, which we don't need to discuss in detail, but you kind of get the idea, but you can get them in little tiny packets, which are travel and portable. I have a wet ones, um, antibacterial, which coincidentally, I also have um, a small hand sanitizer. This is just a little tiny hand sanitizer bottle that I keep refilling. The ones from Bath and Body are really awesome, but they're a little bit bulkier than this tiny little one that I have. And so I choose to use this one instead. P.S. There is no label because 
I've been carrying it around so long with me that I know exactly what this is. I have a Shout Wipe and Go. A lot of people carry the Tide Pen and I find that I'm pretty neat and so I don't typically have to use it and I was carrying them around, they were drying out, so I figured it was much more cost effective to dry out a series of individual packets, I guess. I also carry some tea bags. I am definitely a coffee fan, um, but depending on what kind of milk or creamer is offered, sometimes I'm like, no, okay, I can't deal with that. Like, I, I don't like the creamers that have flavor in them because they typically have sugar because, wait, something else that I carry with me are glucose packets because I am a type 1 diabetic. I do wear an insulin pump. And so all of those little flavored creamers, they all have sugar in it. And so I just try to stay away from that. Which means I also carry Splenda because I need my sweets sometimes and I don't use it a lot. I know there's a ton of controversy over whether or not Splenda is good for you or not. We will not be discussing that here because that would be a hot mess. But I do carry Splenda with me and ironically, actual sugar. So they kind of just, I don't know, they debate each other all the time. So back to the tea bags. When I am not pleased with what condiments for my coffee are available, I will go to tea. My absolute favorite tea in the whole wide world is by Stash. It's the vanilla chai decaf tea. This vanilla chai tea is the best form of chai I have ever experienced. This is actually an experience in a little tiny package. The other tea bag that I typically carry with me is one of my other favorites, also by Stash. It's their English breakfast black tea. It's just a really good basic tea, but it has caffeine because that other one is decaf and I need to make sure that I have the appropriate array and selection of caffeine versus non-caffeine tea. And when I have one and one with me, my life is complete. I have one of these tiny little um, like glass wipies and so I use this on my iPhone or on my sunglasses or anything else I feel needs to be fingerprint or stickiness free or whatever kind of schmagma you wind up getting on those sorts of screens and things. This guy will clean it off in a pinch. Speaking of um, sunglasses, I also carry with me a sunglass, you can't even see that, a sunglass um, like little screwdriver because I don't know how, but you know, even just on normal sunglasses, I don't wear glasses, thank goodness, but I know that's coming, but I don't wear glasses right now, but I live for sunglasses, and I don't know how those screws wind up undoing themselves. At one point, I had the screw coming out, and I did not have the screw driver for it, and so now I carry it with me. I mean, how tiny is it? It really doesn't even take up a lot of room, and it doesn't weigh anything, so why not, right? Can you imagine if I said why not for every single thing that I wanted to carry with me? I would need like a luggage just to go to the grocery store or Target. I have a Travelo, of course. Doesn't everybody have a Travelo? If you're not familiar, this is a little tiny travel version of whatever perfume you prefer, provided that your perfume is a spray bottle perfume. So you are able to take the bottom of it, it's got this little sploogy thing on the back, and you take the bottom of it and take off the cap of your perfume, and you pump it and it fills the inside of this bottle with your favorite perfume, and now you have an atomizer for when you are on the go. And like I said, I, I've got a deodorant antiperspirant wipe because I'm very concerned about how I smell. <laughs> kind of going along with that. I am also very concerned about what my breath smells like, probably because I drink a lot of coffee and that kind of breath can get real nasty real quick. So in my bag itself, I've always got gum or a container of mints or something, but you know, sometimes those run out. So I suppose as sort of a backup, in my apocalypse bag, I've got the um, Listerine pocket packs, the little breath strips. This one is cinnamon, it's one of my favorites. They're Pretty interesting because you just place the sheet of, it's almost like a sheet of paper, and you just place it on your tongue and it just kind of dissolves. But not immediately because right now it's stuck to the roof of my mouth. But also this is major. This will like clear your sinuses. It is so very strong. <laughs> I also carry with me the Colgate Wisps in case I have a tooth, breath, and or food emergency. So I happen to find these really tiny little um, Ziploc bags and they're like really thick too so they don't just like fall apart. Like if you ever buy jewelry at like a flea market or sort of situation like that, you get those little Ziploc bags. They're really like paper thin and they fall apart like immediately. So these are kind of like for 
pills and stuff, these little tiny Ziplocs. I believe I got them at Walgreens. Anyway, in these Ziploc containers, which remember, like I said, I like things that are tiny, and a tiny Ziploc is fabulous because I love Ziplocs. Um, I always carry floss with me because I like to floss because flossing is good for dental hygiene. Also in another tiny little Ziploc, I carry some pills, just some kind of typical stuff, ibuprofen, um, Tylenol. I know they have little tiny containers that you can put pills in, but again, I have so much stuff that everything needs to be as tiny as possible and there's really nothing tinier than a tiny little Ziploc. I've got some band-aids, which by the way are Hello Kitty and pink. And hi, I'm 38, and those are the kinds of band-aids that I prefer. I've also got that tiny little travel size roll of Tums, which clearly I have delved into because I think there are about three left now, because uh, Tums are the sort of things that you need when you are 38, approaching 40, and can no longer eat as you please without sometimes experiencing a tiny little tummy ache. So I found these tiny little containers, which now are actually becoming a little bit more common. I've seen them at a number of stores. I believe you can find them at Target. I did see them at the container store. And what's in there is actually just white. And so just for conversation's sake, what I've got in there is my absolute favorite lotion in the whole wide world. This is the Fresh Cream Scent by Philosophy. I love the way it smells. It smells like the best sort of yumminess you will ever have. Um, I love that it absorbs really nicely. I cannot find this in a travel size. I would actually prefer to have a one or two ounce actual fresh cream philosophy bottle, but I can't find that. And so I had to make my own because this would never fit in the apocalypse bag. I've got some hair ties. These are those Invisibobbles that you typically can get at Sephora, but a number of you have told me that you can find them at other locations, much less expensive than Sephora. This clear one among two others came from one of you guys. Thank you so much. I love these. These definitely keep my hair in place. They make your ponytail, especially if you've got like not a lot of hair they make your ponytail actually look kind of full and funky because it doesn't keep your hair flat in that circle it's it just kind of spikes it up a little bit it's just it's it's magic it's really fascinating i also have one of these um real friendly hair ties that you're supposed to be able to wear on your wrist and look oh so fashionable this is black i don't care about looking fashionable i just want to get my hair off my neck when it's 90 degrees and humid outside i have a tape measure which is one of those kind of sewers tape measures that you can wrap up i posted a photo on instagram um, where I showed that I had gone to Home Goods and purchased like 11 different like storage baskets, which I thought was a little excessive, but completely necessary. P.S. I used every single one of them, even though I thought I was going to be returning some. But this tape measure comes in handy for so many things. And it was hilarious because when I was in Home Goods and I was measuring the diameter of some of the circle baskets, is it the diameter? Wow, that's like high school. I think it's the diameter. When I was measuring the diameter, a gentleman was walking down the aisle behind me and kind of says over my shoulder, but not directly to me. I think he might have been afraid of me because I was so intent with my tape measure. He said, never get between a woman and her tape measure because then it's a big deal. I was like, oh, you know it. I have some metal poking sorts of devices that I imagine I could use as a weapon if necessary, provided I was able to dig for it quickly enough and pull it out of the apocalypse bag of crap. I've got a pair of tweezers. These are by Tweezer Man, even though I specifically live for the ones by Anastasia, but the Anastasia ones are slanted and these are pointed. I primarily, I'm not like randomly plucking eyebrows, although I would if necessary on the road. <laughs> But I've got tweezers because my eyes are notorious, especially my eyelashes, for grabbing whatever kind of hair or fuzz is floating around, particularly dog hair. And so I need tweezers in order to surgically, like that children's game operation, remove the fuzzes and hairs out of my eyelashes because I never leave the house without mascara and there's no chance I'm going to be rubbing my eyes in order to get something out. I've also got a nail file, just one of those metal nail files. I think this is also by Tweezer, Tweezer Man? I think so. Tweezer Man? Yes, it says Tweezer Man right on it. I also carry a cuticle nipper with me because no matter what I do, I cannot get my cuticles to be moisturized enough, but sometimes it's hanging there and you wanna bite it off and you know it's gonna make yourself bleed and so 
you just have to resist and I realize if I've got a cuticle nipper then I can kind of take care of it. This is a former eye drop container that you can find basically at any drugstore but I have repurposed it because it's just so cute and tiny to hold, you can see my little label right here, it says JM Oil. This is the Josie Marin Argon Oil. I carry this tiny little guy around with me because again if I'm waiting for something or I'm sitting around or whatever I will moisturize my cuticles because my cuticles and dry cuticles are like a pet peeve of mine. I'm able to take care of them on a whim, on the go. So one of the things that I carry that I don't think everyone carries but might be becoming more common, I hope it's becoming more common, is I carry a um, like backup hard drive with me. This is like all the photos and all the videos, all of my YouTube work because it's really important to me. Like I, I think I've indicated before, YouTube is one of the first creative things that I've actually done with my life and I'm, I'm having such a good time. And I feel like, God forbid, your house went on fire, somebody broke in, a lot of that stuff is replaceable. Not everything, but a lot of that stuff is replaceable and provided that everybody was safe, dogs and cats and fish and pets and you know everybody, if your house were to be destroyed, it's not a big deal. In fact, you could go shopping again and, and you'd be able to, you know, buy new stuff, but you cannot replace that sort of stuff that's on your computer. And so I feel good and like a pack rat, basically. Is anybody else a pack rat out there? I'm like a huge pack rat. Why do rat, do you ever see a rat walking around carrying a bag? I don't know where, where does pack rat come from? But anyway, I feel like if I've got a copy of stuff in my home and I've got a copy with me, then all is good in the world. In addition to the 12 lip products, which like I said, I'm not gonna go into right now. You can check it out on the Lipstick Purse Purge video, which I think I said I will link down below. I do have a couple other beauty products. Um, I carry by Bourjois, their Healthy Balance Powder. I like this powder because it's mattifying, but also will add a little bit of color um, and kind of fill in some areas sometimes that might get wiped away with foundation as the day wears on. Everybody complains about this powder because it doesn't have doesn't come with a puff or anything. Um, however, I have discovered that if you go to MAC, they sell these little flat sponges that are so flat that they will actually fit inside the Bourjois Compact and then you will have something to kind of blot your face with. It's pretty fabulous. I love when I went to the MAC counter, the gal says to me, with all respect, and she was actually right. She says, you know, makeup application goes much smoother when you use a brush. I'm like, yes, I'm aware of that, but I'm using this for another purpose, thank you. I wonder if we actually said it in those hushed tones like that, but it was kind of a, a meeting of wills at that point because she really wanted to compel me to buy a brush. And I'm like, honey, I got way more than enough brushes that I need at this point. One of the things I carry happens to be a brush. This is by R RMK, RMK. I use this brush sometimes to apply that powder, but I'll also carry a blush with me because I feel like that's one of the things that wipes away first off of my face. Um, right now I'm carrying the Clinique Cheek Pop in Peach Pop which I've mentioned now kind of lately is kind of my summertime blush. I've, I've really been using it a lot and so I take her with me. I carry by Bobbi Brown her miniature kind of foundation filler stick, which I've said before I use around my nose and kind of around my mouth because with my allergies and every time I blow my nose, I'm wiping away my foundation. And so this is a really cool um, just kind of foundation filler. Fills you in in places that might wear away. I have a couple of tubes of some liquid. I carry by NYX the Control Freak um, brow gel, not because I have random eyebrow emergencies during the day, but I use this for my hair, for flyaways, and for, you know, like the frizzies. My hair, because it's so kind of fine and straight, is notorious for becoming attached to my lips, most especially after I've applied lip gloss. And so I will use this on the ends to kind of just tame them away and keep them just kind of off of my face because doing this is a little bit uncouth and not very attractive. I also carry a mascara with me, whichever one um, happens to be handy. This one is the trial size version of the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, which I actually really like and I'm really considering getting the full size version of. I've got some oil absorbing sheets. These are the one by the Up and Up brand at Target. They are exactly the same as the Clean and Clear. So these are the blue paper ones, which I find work the best. Any other kind or style I do not enjoy, nor do I like. I don't think they do 
anything. They're the ones that are usually kind of crinkly, like, like a rice paper almost. Um, this is major oil absorption, and it's not uncommon for me to have to use more than one in a single application in order to deal with the oil production factories that I have living beneath my skin. I have a MAC pencil sharpener, which actually goes with my lip products, but I don't think I mentioned that during that lipstick purse purge video. Um, it's got a little top, little hat. I also find that you really do need to step up and pay a little bit more for sharpeners. This guy was actually $10. I think that's a little bit excessive. I bought it without asking for the price. But when you buy a pencil sharpener that's made by one of the actual makeup brand companies, kind of not in the drugstore, I have found them to just generally be overall better. And they typically are $3, $5, maybe $7. Um, one by Clinique, I believe, is only three bucks and it winds up being really, really good too. It doesn't have a hat though. I like this MAC one because it has a hat. Also by MAC, I carry around Fix Plus because sometimes I get dry patchy. Um, during the day, my foundation will kind of patch a little bit and so Fix Plus is a really nice kind of facial refresher. Um, I carry the Fix Plus in someone else's um, face spray bottles. I believe this is the one by Urban Decay. The reason I put the MAC, I've even got my little label on it, that's because this is the small size of the MAC bottle. I mean, come on. It's almost like twice the size. This guy is like Chikunga. This is not travel. This is travel. This is just a reduced version of the large size. I figured it already had a setting spray in this bottle, so why couldn't I put a different one in? Is that like cross-contamination? Are they like not getting along? Last couple random things. I always carry a comb. I don't really brush my hair out in particular, but I, I don't know. I just feel better when I've got a comb with me just in case, right? I've got a love letter from my husband. I always carry one with me. He writes me the best love letters. And we've been together now. We're going on 16 years, married a little bit less than that. And he still writes me love letters and I love him to pieces. And I will typically change out the love letter as well. One, because I don't want to get ruined when it's in the apocalypse bag. But two, it's, it's just nice to see a number of the different things that he says because he's really sweet and I love him. The last thing I carry with me is um, what I call my before picture. I think I mentioned when I was doing um, a couple videos about trying to start a workout and trying to become healthier. Um, I mentioned that I've lost almost 60 pounds and I've kept that off for five years now. And it's a nice flash of a reminder where you've been and where you've come from and how hard you've worked and things that you've accomplished because sometimes you have a bad day and you need to be reminded of those things and that's what my before picture does for me. I know that I also keep in there a small bottle of hairspray. I don't know where she is right now and that's actually causing me a little bit of anxiety right now. I use a hairspray by Tresemme, just a little spray and spritz that I can do during the day to hold the waves and the curls that always want to fall after only a couple of hours, no matter what I do to them. But I'm really anxious and nervous. One, not only because my apocalypse bag is now a mess and spread out everywhere and everybody needs to go back home inside their bag, but also because I don't know where that hairspray bottle is. And does that mean I've been walking around? for how many days without having it in there as well. See, I got issues. Do you have issues? What are some of the random things that you carry around with you that maybe you think other people don't, but we could almost validate people do? But I'm curious to know, what are some of the things that you might put in an apocalypse bag if you were to have one? Because I know you're not all crazy like me having an apocalypse bag. Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. If you're not already a subscriber, which I feel really weird now asking you for because I think I'm a little loony and would you want to subscribe to somebody who's a little crazy? Come on. We had a good time today. You at least laughed at me at least one time and I'd like to think I was laughing with you. So if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe and if you like this video and want to see more like it, then please give it a thumbs up. I hope you have a really good rest of the day. I look forward to seeing you in my next video and in the meantime, thanks. Oh my gosh. My apocalypse bag matches my shirt. That was not planned. But that further solidifies that I've got a little something going on up here. I don't know. Do you think it was subconscious? Maybe I just feel such a connection <laughs> to my apocalypse bag that I decided I was going to kind of look like it. The other teeth. Oh, I dropped it. Apparently that frightened me that a non-breakable um, little tiny envelope could not hit the floor. <laughs> Because every time I transfer something into a tiny, um, 
I need to make sure that I have an appropriate array of caffeine and non-caffeine. Caffeine? What's caffeine? <laughs> I think I was trying to say caffeine tea, and I went caffeine. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, taking in a deep breath now hurts because my mouth is so minty. Okay, so here comes the P-Touch. This is a tiny little former um, 